course I came with this awesome idea today that well I'm gonna pick up the iPhone 15 Pro Max I already have the Apple Watch Ultra 2 and I'm gonna meet with some biker guys and uh, we're gonna talk about the iPhone I'm just curious uh, on what they have to say we are just around the corner it looks like we have a waiting line oh crap much, much, much later. I guess I'm the next one. This place is right now. I'm waiting for them to get the phone. I can get out of here. I have to meet those guys. It's already on 7.30 and I was supposed to meet them at 7. We just arrived to the restaurant. Going to check and see what these guys think about the new iPhone. These guys are bikers, they have no interest in new technology right now, they can care less about the iPhone. So, everything you guys will hear, well, it's going to be pure honesty. So, let's see how this goes, guys. few moments later we have here the uh, brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max uh, by this time you guys probably know all the features about it you know it's a pretty cool phone but Claudio here he's uh, he's just a standard user he doesn't really follow this stuff as a matter of fact I think he's bored as hell right now but um, uh, he's gonna do you know the he's gonna do me the favor and unbox this for me and uh, well go ahead I'll let you uh, enjoy the moment I'll probably be getting one myself in a month or two because my listen if you do get one man just get go go with the pro yes forget about the plus or the iPhone. 15 uh there you go guys that's the titanium they call it the original titanium color it's a new color introduced and that phone is actually out of stock until november that particular color i don't know about the other colors but uh yep he's peeling ah that's so satisfying I felt that over here, man. That's a 6.7 inch display as we know. Uh, now they have eliminated, uh, this is the uh, 14 uh, Pro right here. They have eliminated, I think this is the 12. This is the 12. Yep, so that's the 12. You can compare. Yep. So you can see the, the cameras is size. what mainly changes like the size of them. Uh, let's get a little bit closer here. Let me borrow your phone real quick. There you go right here you can see the camera modules are completely different but a lot of people are saying that since the 12 it hasn't really changed much apple doesn't really focus on changing the design of the phone they want new features within the phone so that's that's a big difference right there um, design wise i think it looks pretty cool now we have curved edges and uh, the color has changed so when you grab it in the hand it feels a lot different let me give claudio a little demo here grab that's the 14 just grab it with your hand and then you're gonna grab this one tell me it doesn't feel different yeah the, the weight the yeah. weight is yeah now we have titanium is a is a lighter uh, metal it's as lighter. you know it probably weighs i'm gonna say a few grams less yeah it's than, about like 30 40 grams less yes. than the original uh 14 pro max so uh with it guys uh well by the way inside of the box we still have the uh, lightning cable here standard stuff we don't get a sim tray opener for well, the lightning cables here we get the manuals here we don't get a sim tray opener because it doesn't have a sim card any longer okay? and also and, and also feature you guys noticed when apple years ago was giving you the lightning cable with this USB-C on the end now it's completely USB-C oh no correct more, yes no more lightning as a matter of fact now that you mentioned that there's a wire that they sell separately that gives you 20 times faster charge than the regular 14 Pro Max and even all the other generations so now it charges a lot faster with the USB-C that was a big improvement by Apple and check this out, Claudio. Have you noticed the button on the side? It's no longer a toggle. Okay. It's, a, it's an actual button that serves as a multi-function button. 
So what you can do now is you can press this and you can activate the flashlight, you can activate the camera, you can even activate apps that you have downloaded uh, to the phone. So it could be TikTok, if you press that button, it can do that as well. Anything you want, you can reroute this uh, button now. So that's, that's quite cool. Let's go ahead and get it started here real quick. I'm not gonna go through all the setup process. I just wanna make sure it boots up. And it does. That's very okay. Important. This one is super important. You have to do the software update before you put in your iCloud. I heard that it causes your data to get compromised. So do the update before you put in your credentials like your iCloud and information. So comparing it here physically with the previous generation, you can see that body wise it doesn't really change much. By the way, this is my uh, new cameraman right here. He can hold the camera for sure. <laughs> Gabriel. Gabriel. Again, here we can compare side by side. You can see used to have the little toggle. Now we have an actual button. And the weight makes a big difference as well, guys. So let's put the phones aside for a second. Let's uh, check this case that I got for it, which of course I don't have my knife with me. So this is a, uh, I think this is like a $30 case you can get from Amazon. Do not buy accessories from Apple, that's a rip off. Please don't. All right, so this is by Taurus. Again, uh, oh wait, I made a mistake. This is the screen protectors. So I would assume that because it looks, well, I didn't read, it says case right there. But those are the screen protectors, also by Taurus. And this is the case, guys. The matches with the phone's color. Check this out. That looks premium. Excellent quality. I think this is like $33 or so. Let's go ahead and try it out. Bam. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Let's see. This thing has like a little side leg. You can open it, you can watch your videos like this. You can even have it standing up like this as well. So it is a multi-purpose case. And I think they tested it with 500 drops and the phone never got damaged based on what they're claiming. But anyways guys, we also have here the Apple Watch. Uh, this is another subject. So I'm not gonna jump into the details. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick unboxing here. Uh, I'm making a mess. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to keep things together. So anyways, this is the Apple Watch and they got it with the, let me see what band is this. This is the Trail Loop, is what they call it. it makes sense, I like adventure bikes, so why not get the Apple Watch that allows me to do all those things and not breaking. This uh, Apple Watch, as we know, is meant for people who exercise, people who like to be outdoors a lot, which I do love. And uh, this is a great way to, you know, get yourself uh, something that works. Okay, so here we have it, guys. Now we have that little finger tapping to answer phone calls and whatnot. This is... Physically, it looks identical to the previous generation. So let's get it started. Let's see if it has any juice. Beautiful looking watch. It looks identical to the previous generation, guys. Now it has a better processing power. I believe it's the S9 processor inside. It has, uh, you know, better uh, sensors that detect your exercise a lot better. It detects your heart rate. Of course, all these features we know that are quite common with the Apple Watch. But now it went a little bit further with the battery. And uh, the coolest part is the little tapping finger tap that answers and the client's phone calls and you can also pause and play music and things of that nature so anyways guys we're gonna cut the video right here this was just a little experiment i decided to do like a little vlog hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh, don't forget to hit that like button subscribe comment and share i will be bringing some replicas very soon of the iphone 15 pro max and the apple watch ultra and it's gonna get exciting guys so don't forget to subscribe comment and share and click on the bell icon i'll see you guys later